Good morning, Johnson Learning Lovers. Today is Thursday, March 24th. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, everybody, happy Thursday. We do not have any birthdays again today, but we do have some more open-minded leopard leaders to share about. From Miss Hartwell's class, Yaya Camus keeps an open mind with all kinds of new experiences throughout the day. He is always willing to play a new game and include everyone. Recently, Yaya has been working on new math tasks and he has been super flexible during his workshop time. Yaya, we are so proud to call you a friend and a classmate. Keep it up. From Ms. Croach's class, Olivia Covington has shown how open-minded she is by being willing to embrace some new classroom routines we've implemented lately. She has also been open-minded working with new partners during math workshop time and working hard on new challenging math and reading concepts we've been learning. Way to go, Livy. From Ms. Shapiro's class, Zaire Magruder has been open-minded to trying new things. He loves to ask questions and connect with his classmates about their thinking. He comes in each day smiling, and we are lucky to have Zai in our class. From Ms. Case's class, Maggie Barnes meets new experiences with an open mind and heart. She listens to others fully and to, un, to blah, blah, blah. she listens to others to fully understand their perspective and takes on new routines in the classroom with flexibility. She was recently spotted being open to learning a new form of poetry. We love you, Maggie. And finally, for Ms. Rinkleball's class, Zymir Lockley is always ready for something new. He works hard and perseveres through hard situations. It is a joy to watch him discover new talents. Way to go, Zymir, and great job to all of those open-minded leopard leaders. All right, please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson learning leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged, and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news you can use. Our Women's History Month Hero of the Day is Bessie Stringfield. Y'all, she is the coolest. So in 1930, almost 100 years ago, Bessie Stringfield became the first African-American woman to ride her motorcycle across the United States all by herself. Her feat was credited with breaking down barriers for both women and African-American motorcyclists. Bessie was born in Jamaica and later moved to the United States on her uh, moved to the United States. On her 16th birthday, her mother gave her a motorcycle, even though good girls didn't ride motorcycles, so her mom said. Although she did not know how to ride the motorcycle, she quickly mastered it. And between the 1930s and early 1940s, she made eight long-distance solo rides across the United States. However, because she was black, she was often denied accommodations like hotel rooms and like places to stay or places to eat while she was traveling. And sometimes she had to sleep on her motorcycle at gas stations. During World War II, Bessie worked for the U.S. Army as a civilian motorcycle dispatch rider, and she would carry documents between Army bases on her motorcycle, which was really, really important. She regularly encountered racism while on the road, but that did not stop her. In the 1950s, she disguised herself as a man, and she won a local motorcycle race, but then they denied her the prize money when she took off her helmet. Reporters called her the motorcycle queen of Miami. Bessie Stringfield passed away in 1993 at the age of 82, and she was inducted into the Motorcycle Hall of Fame in 2002. So Bessie Stringfield, what a cool lady. Um, and today is also National Chocolate Covered Raisin Day. Mr. Thompson, my husband, would loves this day because he loves raisinettes. Um, and it's also National Cheese Steak Day, and that's one of my favorite foods. All right, today's joke of the day comes from Kasaya Anderson Sims in Miss Shapiro's class. What did the lava lamp, sorry, blah, blah, blah. What did the lava say to the lava lamp? What did the lava say to the lava lamp? I love you. <laughs> I love that one. Thank you so much, Kaziah, for sharing that with us. And everybody, that is all I have for you all today. I hope you have a thrilling Thursday and think about how you can roar today here at Johnson. We love you so much, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.